Hello, my humanitarians, and welcome now to Hump Day. Thanks for checking us out in the garden. Sunny, passionate, and outspoken today for the Sagittarius. The moon is well into Aquarius. So emotions and intellect are ping-ponging off of each other. In fact, today is a day where you might fall into a mind game if you're not careful. Uh, that's because the moon is the ruling planet, and our emotions are a lot heavier and a lot more pronounced than usual. All right? Our emotions also want to kind of detach from the situation. So we feel emotional, and we want to back up kind of in a retreating space. So today, listen to your emotions and listen to your thoughts because both are providing insight into how well you nurture yourself or don't nurture yourself. We're in chapter two of Sun in Pisces. The moon is the ruling planet, so our emotions are teaching us today. What that boils down to for Sagittarius is, is this. Listen to your thoughts and see how you respond to your thoughts and emotions today. They're providing clues as into how good you are or aren't at self-nurturing. Do your thoughts beat you down? Do your thoughts pick you up? Do your emotions go to the dark side of the moon right away and make this big you know, despair? Where are your emotions and intellect going? These are clues to us figuring out how to self-nurture. And today is really probably the most powerful day of the self-nurturing ch chapter two because self-nurturing really does begin with how we evolve and how we uh, manage our emotions. So you may not be good at managing emotions. You may not be good at uh, soothing yourself when you get emotional. Today will tell, and that will really lay out tomorrow when we begin to start to really start to manifest this new self-nurturing. And Venus, Venus has moved into Aquarius, so no matter how bad your thoughts are, how mean you might be thinking to yourself, Venus is sending love and creativity to this state of awareness for the next 30 days. So for the next 30 days, you're in a good place to be very creative with your thinking. This is an opportunity to think differently to literally pull yourself out of negative thinking and to be creative communicator. For those of you who are messengers, this is the time to start your book. You're gonna be super creative when it comes to communication for the next 30 days. And it's Wednesday. I have Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, going live today. He's diving into another chapter of Pisces and today discussing the dream realm. What are our dreams about? What do our dreams tell us? What's our subconscious about? And ancient wisdom. How do we tap into our ancient wisdom? What do we do with it once we find it? Skip's going to talk about both in a very optimistic way, as, w as well as giving you a daily affirmation. Don't miss Skip. He's helpful, and he's here to help you today. Now, that wraps up Wednesday, but tomorrow, you're going to get very telepathic. Those details and more tomorrow. Live, love, be. So